Good morning, my fellow. Understanding, sympathetic, neighborly patriots. You know, since Uncle Joe took office, there's been a huge surge of illegal aliens along the border. BBC has actually done a pretty good job of reporting this in a series of stories which we'll talk about. Let's start with this one right here. Guatemalan teenagers die on journey to U.S. I knew I shouldn't let him go. That's his father speaking right there. Those are two pictures of the father talking about it. What happened is 16 Guatemalans decided that, well, with Uncle Joe in office and saying all the right things, they would take a shot at it. Just miles from the U.S. border, that's exactly what happened. They were shot and their bodies burned by the Mexican police. The bodies have been returned to the families and Uncle Joe, because of his soft-headed policies, is somewhat responsible for the deaths of these 16 immigrants. Smugglers taking advantage of Biden at the border. And here they actually start to talk about the numbers. They say there are over a hundred thousand illegal aliens that they know of that rushed the border in February and they expect the number to exceed a hundred and thirty thousand in March. This is again due to Uncle Joe's changed policies, and they say so right there. And the next story down. Risking everything for an American dream. In this story, it says, we run, we fall, we get injured. Now that Biden is in charge, they are hoping to be let in as refugees. And they talk about their stories, about how they're fleeing poverty, poor paying jobs, businesses going bankrupt, leaving them poverty stricken. And in the next story, not all countries will just let them walk through willy nilly. Migrants beaten back with truncheons in Guatemala. This is along the Honduran border. Hondurans don't even want them marching through their country on their way to flee poverty. They're afraid too many will stay behind. And finally, this story, We Have Nothing, I Am In Pain. This is talking about natural disasters, flooding storms that have hit Guatemala and have economically injured these people. And so they want to flee to the U.S. because word has leaked out that, well, Uncle Joe is not protecting his borders very well at the moment. Although the BBC has set these five stories in Guatemala, they could just as easily have chosen Mexico or a number of other South American countries. In this first story, the reason given for this, his son fleeing is that they've talked to another 14-year-old who's thinking about doing the same thing. This 14-year-old is making $6 a day farming. And he says there are times when he only works two or three days a week. The United States does have an immigration policy. Even under that immigration policy that we have, though, this young, strong, 14-year-old boy probably could not find a place on an immigration list. It appears he doesn't have any requisite skills that the United States needs. We are not the same country where we have wide open lands that are just sitting fallow waiting for somebody to turn a plow and plant a field. We need higher skill sets nowadays and that's 
what our immigration policy should try to provide to bring those skill sets into the United States that we need. I don't have the answer to the problems of these Guatemalans, but I know this, opening up our borders and allowing in wave after wave of illegal aliens is not going to help those people in the long run. It's only going to create vast sways of poverty in the United States. As rich as a country as the United States is, we do not have the resources to feed, clothe, and house every single person that would wish to flee from poverty in their home country.